Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome back for another video. In today's video, let's take a look at Uniswap and see where we can land with a price target for the 2024, 2025 bull run. But before we dive on in, this is not financial advice. This video is for entertainment purposes only. Please do your own research. I am not a financial advisor. And while I appreciate that, so many of you are hopping in here from all over the place. You've got to hit that subscribe button. I make price target videos every day at 6 a.m. Eastern time. I am trying as much as possible to keep up with this rapidly evolving crypto space. Hit that subscribe button, turn on the notification button as well. Well, but without further ado, let's go ahead and dive on into this. So Uniswap, Uniswap peaked a little above $40 last bull run in 2024 in the spring of 2024 or second quarter of 2024 for those of you in the Southern Hemisphere. Um, during the peak of euphoria, when everyone was excited, Uniswap ripped, not too surprising. And this is another confirmation to me that the spring or second quarter of 2021 was, and I meant to say 2021, I hope I did, was the peak of euphoria and not the fourth quarter. Okay, so I know the total crypto market cap put in a bit of a higher high, but the spring of 2021 was the euphoria. You can see with Uniswap, I mean, six and a half billion dollar market cap, number 21 in market cap. We're not expecting a 100x or a 50x or even a 20x with this cryptocurrency. Volume is decent, 70, number 71 in volume as of the last 24 hours. We saw a recent price surge, which came as a bit of a surprise, but I do wanna talk a little bit about that price surge in a few minutes here, because that's very important and it is a significant significant factor into why I am giving a higher price target than what I would have given six months ago at this time, because something significant happened with Uniswap that I think is going to have massive ripples over the entire crypto space. So <clears throat> market cap doesn't look all that much different. There is some inflation, but um, you can see here on Masari.io, we've been at 753 million circulating supply with this cryptocurrency since the middle of 2022. There is a discrepancy. I do want to point that out between uh, Coin Market Cap and Masari.io. Uh, Coin Market Cap says a little under 600 million. Masari.io says 753 million. I tend to side with Masari whenever I see a discrepancy between Coin Market Cap and Masari. I think they do a lot more work to keep track of circulating circulating supplies. If that's wrong, that's going to have an effect on my price target. If it's 600 million in circulation, great. You know, I'll give a higher price target, but. What I'm putting on the spreadsheet is based off of a 753.77 million circulating supply. So market cap dominance. Now here's a big thing. Market cap dominance peaked at 0.9%, 0.91%, almost 1% in early 2021. And so then it's gone down, it's flatlined, been around between 0.3% and 0.4%. And so six months ago, again, if you had asked me where I thought this was going to go with market cap dominance, I would have said maybe 0.4%, maybe 0.5%. But the recent development that has happened with Uniswap that has me much more bullish on it is that they have announced a revenue share with their holders, with their stakers, that actual revenues, they make money, which I love to see with cryptocurrencies. So they make money and people who stake their Uniswap will get a portion of that cryptocurrency of, of the of the sorry, not the crypto, cryptocurrency, but of the rewards. And that'll be um, vested in in Uniswap tokens. This is a huge deal. And this is something that something like SushiSwap or ThorChain or any of those other swaps that have a cryptocurrency, they're going to have to follow suit if they want to keep up with Uniswap. Because and, and what's the significance of this? It's simply sticking a middle finger in the face of the SEC saying you have no ability. They're essentially communicating to the SEC. You're not going to declare us a security. It doesn't matter. Okay, so the idea that cryptocurrencies would revenue share, that is something very new. That's something that happens with securities. It doesn't happen as much with, uh, with cryptocurrencies. You know, in Ethereum makes a lot of money. What do they do? They burn a lot of that supply. That's how they reward holders. But Uniswap is sharing revenues. So I think that's going to have a significant effect on the price. And instead of predicting this to go to 0.4% or 0.5% market cap dominance, I do think it's going to go back to its previous all-time high. Whenever euphoria returns, you know, whenever your grandma, your Uber driver, your barber, they're talking about crypto, I think you, Uniswap is going to pump like crazy. And it will go back to that all-time high in market cap dominance of 0.91%. So 0.91% market cap dominance, assuming a $7 trillion total crypto market cap, that gives us a 63 3.7 billion dollar market cap 
if you don't remember from earlier in this this uh, video, the all time high for market cap is $40 billion. So I don't think it's all that much of a stretch to project this to go to a $63.7 billion market cap. So you divide that by 753.77 million in circulating supply, that gives us a Uniswap price of $84.51. Now again, let's just say that coin market cap, their circulating supply on their page is correct. That gives us a little bit more than a $100 Uniswap. And so again, all time high is 40, what was the all time high? $40 or so, a little over $40. Market cap all time high, excuse me, market cap all time high is over $20 billion. I got the 40 and the 20 confused. So a little over $20 billion. So that's a pretty significant increase in market cap. And you can see that reflected in the price $84.51. That's more than double its 2021 peak. For a cryptocurrency this large, that's not insignificant. I do want to point that out. So if, you, if you're if you going to sit here and say that this is going to go much higher than 8451, I would love to hear your rationale behind it. I do think that this is a pretty aggressive price target, to be honest with you. So yeah, that is where I land. I mean, an 8x for the number 21 crypto in the world, that's not uh, insignificant. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section of this video. Where do you think Uniswap is going? Are you bullish? Are you bearish? Let me know. I would be happy to hear that. Otherwise, I'll most certainly be seeing you in another video. Peace.